all of Johnny Depp's worst performances were predicted by his best film. Johnny Depp was regarded as a superb actor before he became one of the biggest box office attractions in the world, one of Hollywood's most troublesome characters, and now to the sort of middle ground he seems to be in. It is not difficult to understand how Johnny Depp's life and career were completely altered by the tremendous commercial success of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise when he conceded as much during his recent, infamous defamation trial against his estranged former spouse Amber Heard. After Captain Jack Sparrow entered the scene, his roles began to rely more and more on costumes, shtick, and odd personalities, making them increasingly formulaic and ridiculous. Strangely enough, though, Johnny Depp's strongest performance, as Ichabod Crane, a police officer from the 18th century, in 1999's Sleepy Hollow, predicted the direction his acting would take. The film struck the perfect balance between Johnny Depp's later career, in which he fought mystical creatures and wore a ton of makeup, and his early career, in which he primarily portrayed quiet, introspective individuals. In many respects, Johnny Depp's performance in Sleepy Hollow served as a launching pad for the overacting that would soon characterize Dark Shadows and Mordecai. After the underappreciated Ed Wood and the 1990 gothic fairytale Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow marked Johnny Depp and Tim Burton's third filmmaking endeavor together. Technically, this is a reworking of a short story by Washington Irving from 1820. Sleepy Hollow is more of a culmination of all of Tim Burton's frightening influences up to that point. It's equal parts British horror from the 1970s, 1990s sensuality with bare breasts, and Johnny Depp behaving crazy. Although it can sound derogatory, it is not the intention. Simply put, Johnny Depp is in his best performance ever in Sleepy Hollow, he is able to portray the emotional vulnerability that he so masterfully exhibited in What's Eating Gilbert Grape and Donnie Brasco, as well as the peculiar tics from Edward Scissorhands and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It is tough to emphasize how much fun Sleepy Hollow is, what with Christopher Walken playing a pointed toothed zombie Hessian warrior, insanely violent death scenes, and boldly manufactured sound stages. But Ichabod Crane is the true star of the show, and the film takes great pleasure in showing how foolish and cowardly he is at every turn. Ichabod Crane is skillfully portrayed in Sleepy Hollow as a police reformer who understandably thinks that rather than the tried and true methods of torture, an assumption, investigators should utilize reason and science to solve crimes. But as soon as Johnny Depp arrives in the titular town, it becomes clear that his logic and faith in forensic science are worth absolutely nothing. Seeing Crane be completely incorrect almost every, even as he despises the superstitious residents of the town, is a big part of the film's terrible enjoyment. The fact that Johnny Depp is competing against Christina Rixi, who is ethereally beautiful, as well as a group of renowned character performers like Michael Gambon, Miranda Richardson, Christopher Lee, Ian McDiamid, and Jeffrey Jones, also helps. Ichabod Crane appears to be as horrified by the weirdos of this hamlet as the audience is, which only serves to make it funnier as he gradually blends in with them. It is impossible for Tim Burton and Johnny Depp to collaborate more effectively or be so in tune, but Ichabod Crane was also a foreshadowing of Johnny Depp's future actions. He is not as cartoonish as Willy Wonka or Captain Jack Sparrow, but the first versions of those characters can be seen in his hysterical responses to the paranormal. Despite not wearing as much makeup as Barnabas Collins, Ichabod Crane's archaic attire and Hot Topic-ready appearance were unmistakably leaning in that way. Simply said, Sleepy Hollow is the place when Johnny Depp was successful and on his game enough to pull this off but before he went too far. Then, it went far, much too far. Pirates of the Caribbean essentially demanded that Johnny Depp play it loudly by ordering the Walt Disney Company to deposit truckloads of cash in his driveway. With each box office triumph, he was inspired to go more and farther. The best of it and a lot of it can be attributed to Sleepy Hollow.